Jay is saying while connecting to the source, why receiving money is always a problem for me. Okay. Well, uh, I'm not sure if I understand like receiving money is like if, if uh, earning money or having a hard time with making money. I'm not exactly sure I would he need says, it. even when being connected to source, why is receiving money always a problem for you? Okay, well, my question is like, I don't know what it means by receiving money. Like if I somebody... It's making money. Yeah. I, yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out is whether it's making money or, you know, if, for example, her mother wants to give her a chunk of money or people want to give her, give him things. Jerry. Yeah, I understand. People want to give him things. He would not accept them. So I would need a little bit more information before I answer that question, but uh, because I don't know what exactly he means by that. Uh, because some people do have a hard time because of our early childhood conditioning to receive, to, you know, as soon as you give, give a gift to them and uh, they have a hard time accepting it. And because that comes from all sort of lack of self-worth and self-acceptance that they feel like they're not good enough to receive. Now, if somebody feels connected to the source and they're not making enough money, then um, that's a different story. Obviously, that also indicates that a part of the whole thing is like, how much can you accept what is? Because we really try to do our best to improve our lives. We're not trying to, I mean, you may be sitting around and not doing anything and expecting existence to be taking care of you and providing for you. Or you may be out there and trying to make a living and you do your best. Uh, to make it happen. So, um, but while you're doing this, while you're trying to do your best to make it happen, if you're connected, if you feel connected to existence, then in the meantime, you have understood and you know that existence provides and existence takes care of us. And, and there's also, there's a level in this transaction, what is happening is there's also a level of uh, trust. You have developed a level of trust and surrender. Trust and surrender. Go ahead. Can clarify that it's earning money. Yes, unable to connect with earning money. Unable to connect with earning money, right. Well, again, um, it's always difficult for me to answer a, uh, a question unless I know a lot of the details, but I can just give a general answer and uh because i i don't know the certain the specific patterns of a person or where they're at and what is going on with them so but this is what i as i mentioned earlier uh this is what i can answer is that the more we're connected the more we're in this place of trust, the more you start to feel the presence of the being, Her Majesty, is here, and you feel it, and you get into a dance with the presence. You can touch it, and you, it comes into your everyday life. And the more you also realize that 
this flow of life, this flow of the energy that is going through is the same flow that goes through everything in life. There's a balance into it. And this flow basically in being in touch with it, it also brings this understanding of all is really well and that everything is going to be okay, everything is provided. And the more you tap into it, the more you see its magic. Now, let's put it this way, that just because you've become highly spiritual and you feel very connected to life and to your heart, that's not a reason that we're going to get wealthy or all of a sudden um, everything we want is going to show up in our lives. At least that's not been my experience. So you can be very, very connected to that and trust life and feel the presence and not get everything you need. Not, not get everything you want, I'm sorry, but you will get everything you need. Those, those are two different and separate things. Everything you want versus everything you need. And in this process, this transaction, there are times that you have to completely surrender. You have to completely give it up and let it go. So. He said um, when he was five, he watched his mother try and save his father from a heart attack when he died before his eyes. And he's thinking maybe that childhood trauma has something to do with it. Maybe not trusting life or. Okay. Right. So need more details. Right. Okay. Do we have anything else? question from Hilda Evanstad, how do I let go 100%? Right. Well, our sister Hilda Evanstad, apparently she's with us from the hospital uh, through Facebook Live. And uh, Hilda is asking, how do, we, how do I let go 100%? So, well, I think you've already let go 100%, honey. Um, well, <laughs> The interesting thing is that you want to let go 100% from where? Letting go 100% from the mind or from the heart? Because the mind cannot let go 100%. It's impossible. The mind is still going to hang on to something. It's the heart that can let go 100%. And quite often, you know, when we're in, in despair and we get into desperation and existence is forcing us, pushing us 